Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for my 34 week bump date. So this video is going to be pretty short only because there's not too many updates um, for this week, but I um, today is Tuesday, July 8th, I think. No, July 9th. Um, Tuesday, July 9th, and I am currently 34 weeks and one day. Um, I am weighing in this morning at 141 pounds, so I am one pound higher than I was last week. Um, as far as symptoms go, I have been experiencing just a lot more with my body kind of preparing itself for her arrival. So I've been having a lot more back pain, um, lower back pain. I've been having a lot of like hip pain and hip pressure and a lot of pelvic pressure and lightning crotch. Um, so that's not fun and it's definitely uncomfortable, but I mean, what are you gonna do? It's just her getting ready to come into the world and I'm not gonna be mad about that because again, my body is doing what it needs to do to just make room for her and that's perfectly fine. Um, as well as I have been peeing so much during the night, like I literally get up four to five times at night to pee. It's annoying. Um, yeah, that's not fun. But I mean, what am I gonna do? I can't not drink water because I need to make sure that I stay hydrated. Um, but I also can't hold my pee because then I'm gonna pee on myself. Um, so that's definitely another thing that, um, you know, is, is kind of sucky, but that's okay. Um, and one more symptom is that I've had extreme thirst. Like I've been super, super thirsty. <sighs> like I'm literally thirsty all the time. And normally I hate cold water. Like I don't like iced water. I don't like cold water. And lately all I want is like cold water. So that's new um, but it also just could be because it's summer and my body's hot and I need to cool off but even then like normally I just prefer to drink room temp water and lately it's been just like cold water cold water cold water um, we did have a doctor's appointment today it wasn't anything crazy um, we got to hear her heartbeat like we do at every appointment and I believe he said it was at 148 which is good um, her heart rate usually stays anywhere from about 132 to maybe like 156. That's like the range that it's usually in. Um, so it was 148 today, perfectly fine. He said that she is still head down, which is really, really good. And um, let's see, blood pressure is normal, which is great. I feel good. And we did go to Target today to get a few of the last things that I needed to get from my registry, which I'm super, super excited about because now I feel like I can really start preparing. I mean, I kind of already have, um, but starting this weekend, I will be washing all her clothes and putting everything away. Um, I mean, I've started putting some stuff away, but I needed to get a little bit more storage. And um, as far as like getting everything, we finally like basically have everything that we need. Like anything else that we're gonna get is kind of just, I think the only thing we're missing is a swing. And that's it. Um, just a swing which if you guys have any recommendations on baby swings or baby bouncers it doesn't have to be a swing we're looking for something small portable compact um, like I said we do live in a one bedroom one bathroom so I don't want to get anything too bulky I do want to be able to move it from room to room with me um, so yeah if you know of any or if you um, if you have any to recommend definitely leave them down below because we don't know which one to go with and we want to hurry up and buy one because I just want to have it for when she's here. Um, but yeah, so pretty sure that's it for this bump date. Let's go ahead and get into the belly shot.
so yeah she has gotten so so big as you can see like I genuinely just I feel huge like look at this she is I think I have said before that she dropped but I feel like she is a little bit higher now um, or it could just be that she's just growing a lot and I feel her higher up but I didn't feel her this high before um, and now I feel her pretty high and she also looks like she's up pretty high rather than being down so low um, my belly button has officially popped out like you can see it through all of my clothes Let's see if you can you can see it through my clothes it's kind of funny it's so like soft and I don't know weird to feel um, but yeah so I think that's it for this 34 week bump date I went over my symptoms um, and again like nothing too much has changed everything has been good we're just finishing preparing for baby because at this point, I mean, who knows? She can come in three weeks. She can come in six weeks. Like, it's we really don't know. And I, uh, when I went to my doctor's today, he did mention that usually after 35 weeks, um, if I do start going into labor, that um, it's not really something that they stop. So, if at 35 weeks my body does so happen to go into labor for whatever reason then um, I will go ahead and give birth by that time like they usually don't try to hold it in um, because by that time the baby is pretty fully developed he has a very she has a very good chance of surviving outside of the womb um, she's baby practically baby she's practically developed at this point and um, you know the few things that they would have to worry about they can do here on you know in the hospital and stuff like that so obviously I don't want her to come early but just knowing that if that were to happen that um, it's not something that he would be too worried about does give me a little bit of peace of mind because even if she were to be premature which I don't think she will be um, I don't think I'll make it to 40 weeks but I also don't think that I will give birth preterm either so um, if she were to come early, it's just nice to know that, you know, he's not worried about how she would be or how developed she would be. He's confident that, you know, she would be perfectly fine um, surviving on her own outside. So that is it for this bump date. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed and click that like button if you did. And hopefully you'll stick around to watch some more of my videos. The next video that will be going up is my cloth diapering video. Um, I obviously have not had her, so I can't speak on the experience of cloth diapering, but I'm just gonna be going over how I am preparing to cloth diaper her and as a first time mom, kind of just like the things that I've bought, how much I've spent, um, how I plan to do it, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.